welcome to today's morning devotion and uh, I pray that the word of God will be able to encourage you and take you in the next milestone uh, in your life. My name is Pastor Nesmas Kaunda uh, of Deliverance Church Kayole and uh, I want to thank God for planting us here. We serve under Bishop Robert Pimba as our bishop and as the, the pastor in charge of the, this ministry. Welcome to this message. Our message today is taken from the book of First Chronicles chapter 4, verse 9 and 10. It says this, Jabez was more honorable than his brothers. His mother had named him Jabez, saying, I gave birth to him in pain. Then Jabez cried out to God of Israel, O oh God, that you would bless me and enlarge my territory. Let your hand be with me and keep me from the arm so that I will be free from pain. And God granted his request. Our topic today is entitled, You Can Change Your Situation. Your situation is not permanent. If you want to change the world around you, you must go, you must undergo a change yourself. When, you want, when God wants to promote you, he will introduce a change into your life. It, could be a, it might be a painful change, but God will make sure you do not uh, get lost, do not die in the change. He will introduce you into a change in your life in different circumstances of life. He may make you even lose your job. That's God, which you dearly depend on. He will cause you to move from your comfort zone. He will take you into a school of wilderness. Like Moses, he to leave the comfort of the palace and go all the way to the wilderness. And therefore, it is in the wilderness that God showed himself unto Moses. The challenge that you are afraid of taking could be a ladder to your blessings. Here we see a case of this Jabez. Jabez Jabez's mother, you could not see anything good in him. He only remembered the pain he had while giving birth to him. He never saw anything good in him. He only remembered the pain he went through while giving birth to him. Jabez realized this was an issue, it was a problem that was in waiting in his life. He knew it would bring uh, problems in the future. Though he was honorable before his brothers, he desired to go another level. Never say, if God wants me to prosper. No. It is all about you. Involve God without if. God needs your faith. For him to uplift you. Jabez did not go say to God, if God you bless me. If God, there was no that if. He said, Oh God, that you bless me. He had enough faith in him and he called him to bless him. The manifestation of the spiritual things is a matter of faith. He had enough faith in God and therefore he had to command his future to be prosperous. He had to command his future 
to be a blessing to him. I want to encourage you today that every positive change comes with some friction. Endure it in faith and God will bless you as you pass through any challenge in life. Know that God is not about to kill you. God is not about to waste you. Any challenge you pass through is a challenge that will take you to another, my, another level. Every challenge you pass through, God is watching. You are not alone. You go and do any challenge and involve God in it. And you see the great work, the great work and the power of God working in your life. Therefore, I want to tell you uh, today, it is it will take your, your, your energy, it will take your passion to go a milestone and if any challenge comes across to you, endure it in faith and you see what God has in store for you. Therefore, today, I want to encourage you, as you pass through challenges in your day-to-day -day endeavors, I want to tell you, don't be a quitter. Always trust God that he will take you through. As I, I just tell you, told you last time, involve God in today's um, day. Involve God in everything you do, and he will be manifested. He will show you himself into your life. Don't allow the enemy to press you. Don't allow anything to put you down. Understand that any challenge you pass through could be your blessing in disguise. Therefore, I encourage you, go out. As you go out uh, and you pass through challenges, don't lament, but involve God. He has a reason for it. It's not in vain. All those people whom we, have, we, we know have uh, uh, been victorious. They pass through challenges. They pass through fire. And I want to tell you, God will bless you. As you go through the fire, you will appear on the other side well refined. Praise the Lord. Therefore, I want to tell you, in the book of Daniel, where you see the three boys, uh, Meshach, Shendrak and Abednego, they passed through the fire of Nebuchadnezzar. But when they came out, everything was changed. In fact, the true God was to be worshipped in Babylon. And therefore, I want to tell you, any challenge comes with a blessing hidden in it. God bless you. God bless you. As you go out, face your world with courage because the heaven is backing you. Let us pray. Everlasting Father, King of God, I want to thank you for my listeners, for our viewers. Thank you, King of God, for the day that Lord you have given us, so God, my Father. I pray, everlasting Father, mighty God, that Lord, courage shall be their portion. As they go through any, any, any challenge in life, oh God, my Father, Lord, be upon them, oh God, my Father. The word says to God, my Father, Lord, when the enemy comes like a flood, oh God, my Father, you will raise a standard. And I pray, my God, King of God, my Father, none of my, of my listeners, Lord, my Father, this day will be taken away by the flood. But the Lord, oh God, my Father, will raise them above the situation. Let your glory be manifested, Lord. Through. I pray, my God, King of my Father, Lord, that you, are, you bless them. And Lord, protect them, oh God, my Father, from all the snares of the enemy. I thank you and give you praise. For I do pray in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you and give you praise. Amen. 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 God bless you.